Okay, in this video, I'm going to be talking about electron shells. And electron shells are basically the shells which are, um, they're basically re energy levels around the, the, the nucleus of the atom. And if you've seen the Bohr model, you'd know what I'm talking about. It's basically like you'd have one shell, two shells, maybe three shells. And basically these shells, what they actually represent are energy levels. And so the first shell would be the first energy level. So, and what we, what, 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 what we, what we call these different energy levels to, to, to show their sort of their value, what we call them is, uh, we call them principal quantum numbers. So principal quantum numbers. And what we call the principal quantum number of this first shell is one. And so for this one, the PC, PQN principal quantum number would be two. And so for the third and for the third shell, the principal quantum number would be three. And so this is basically how we sort of gauge gauge the energy level of each of those shells. Now inside these shells because all these shells really represent is a specific level of energy and it also represents um, a region or a section where there's a higher probability there's a high probability that electrons are somewhere close to these lines now within these shells there are subshells subshells And these subshells, so wait, so shells, within shells, there are subshells, and within the subshells, there are um, orbitals. Now, shells are these things you can see here, and subshells are, are more or less regions which contain orbitals. So regions of the atom which contain orbitals. And what orbitals are, are regions in the atom which contain two electrons. So orbitals each contain two electrons. And these two electrons, so it's a pair of electrons, it's basically a pair of electrons. And these two electrons have opposite spin. Opposite spin. So you could imagine if we had these a region like, say, maybe like this, and this was the middle of the atom, we'd have maybe an electron here. And an electron here and they'd be spinning in opposite directions so maybe this would be spinning that way and this would be spinning that way so they'd have opposite spin so if I get just get rid of this now there's different types of subshells some shop sub bleh, some as a tongue twister some subshells have more orbitals than others and the general hierarchy is, and I, I'll start from the, down here from the one that has the least amount of orbitals in it, is the S subshell, the S subshell. So we use letters to represent the subshells. And the first one is the S subshell. Now the S subshell contains one orbital, one orbital. Actually, I'll just write two columns and one will be subshells. One will say subshell on orbitals. Now the S subshell, let me get rid of that. The S subshell contains one orbital. Now the next subshell up in the hierarchy is the P subshell. And the P subshell contains three orbitals, three orbitals. So we all together, since each orbital has um, two electrons in it, this would have two electrons and this would have three times two, which is six electrons. And following on from the P subshell, we have the D subshell, the D subshell. Let me just use, yeah, like blue. 
you have the D subshell and then each D subshell contains five orbitals. So you can imagine since we have five, we're going to have 10 electrons, five times two. And our following on from the D subshell, we have the F subshell. And the F subshell has more orbitals than all of these other ones. And the F subshell contains seven orbitals. And so for the F subshell, we'd have seven multiplied by two, which is 14 electrons. So if I was to write the electrons maybe here, I have 14, 10, um, 6, and 2. So those are the number of electrons that each orbital contains. And these orbitals, like the S and the P orbital, have slightly different shapes. And I'll go into the shapes in the next video, not this one. Now, if we consider maybe a sodium atom, a sodium atom, which is um, Na, let me just Na. So sodium has three shells, and since it, sodium is in group one, the outer shell has uh, one electron. So I'm just going to write the draw the electron in yellow. One electron. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. One electron. And the inner shells have, um, the inner shell has two electrons. One, two. And this inner shell, if I write down here what the, as I said, this is the um, first energy level. And the notation which we use to represent the first energy level since so what we do is we represent we write the number so the number in terms of the 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 um principal quantum number so n and then we write the subshell which is um present the subshell we're talking about so in this case we're talking about the s subshell and then we write the number of um the number of electrons in that subshell and in this case this is the only subshell in this on in the first um, shell and so we write the number and the subshell and we would write the the number of e electrons in that subshell and so for this particular one what we'd write is since this is the energy level one we would write one let me use it easier to see color we'd write one s and since there's two electrons we'd write squared and so for this one this is second shell this is four, and this has the capacity to hold um, eight electrons. So we'd have maybe one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, um, one here, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, seven, eight. So now we have the eight electrons which are on that shell, and to represent that, what we actually have in this particular subshell is this this being energy level two what we actually have is um we would write represent this being energy level two and i'll write this above the one s so imagine this isn't the um energy of the energy level level what we'd have here is the two because i said it was n and then uh, the shell, the subshells, and then the subshell, and then the the, le the the number of electrons. And now, the the second the second shell contains the s subshell as well. So it contains the one, the two s, and it contains two subshells. So the first shell contains one subshell. The second shell contains two subshells. And following on from that, the third subshell contains three subshell subshell. The second shell contains three subshells, and the subshells which they contain follow from this S. So the first one starts with just S, then the second one would have S and P, and then the third one would have S, P, D, and then the fourth one, if there was a fourth one, would have S, P, D, F. And that would have a maximum capacity of about, um, well, 14, about probably be 60, 60 electrons. Now, if we take a look at this, 1s squared, 
and we um, write out the next energy level so looking at this we've got S and then we've got P so it'd be 2 let me use a better color for this it'd be 2S 2S and squared since this S subshell only contains only can contain a maximum of two electrons and then we'd have slightly above this in terms of energy level we'd have the P orbital P P subshell and so we'd have the energy the quant the, the um um the the principal quantum number and then we'd have the uh subshell so this is a P subshell and then we'd have the number of uh electrons in it and if we look at this we've got six electrons one two three one two three four five six and it's maximum capacity basically 2p6 and then we have um the last one and this is in energy level three so i'm going to write this up here and i'm going to use uh let's see i'll use uh green for this so we've got three and you've got s and this has only got one electron in the outer shell at quanta, um, pr principal quantum num at the energy level of the principal quantum number of three. So it's going to be three s one. So basically, that means that the first shell. If we imagine these are the shells, I'll, I'll use the right. Try and use the right color for this. If we imagine these are the shells, or like that. So this is the first shell. This is the second shell, and this is the third shell. The first shell contains two electrons, as you can see in the diagram here. The second shell contains two plus six, which is eight electrons, as you can see in the diagram here. And the third shell contains uh, one electron, as you can see in the diagram. So yeah, and the filling rules in terms of orbitals, because there's certain filling rules when it comes to the filling of the orbitals in, 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 in these different subshells. And I'll go into that in the um, the video after the next one. So yeah.